thank you very much for your time. Um, and all I'm going to start off by saying is that you have got 6,000 plus people coming to see you play at Easter Road pretty soon. Um, how does that make you feel? I think just in terms of how big the women's games grow, and it's great to get that many people come and support us, especially so close to home. Um, Hibs is a very club, a uh, very big club here in Edinburgh and around Leaf, so it'll be good for everyone to come watch us, and I'm very excited for mm -hmm. it. What's the biggest audience that you played in front of up till now? Mm, probably my Scotland and France game um, when we were in the finals when I was playing under 19 national level, um, that was quite a big crowd, but um, the one at Easter Road that we just had as well, that was a very big crowd as well, so mm -hmm. it's, I've had a couple. Yeah. What about you, Liana? Um, my biggest crowd was probably um, in the U17 World Cup when I was playing for Trinidad and Tobago. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. Maybe like over 20, yeah. 20,000, like I think it was a big sold out stadium, it was great. Yeah. Um, but it's always good to have a big crowd, I think. Um, feeling the support from, you know, the community is always a massive plus during a game, especially a big game. So you just moved to Middle Bank and your games are normally at Middle Bank. Um, so how is it how is, the, how is it going to feel different from having your, because it's a nice stadium at Middle Bank, it's, mm -hmm. it's lovely, facilities are great, but obviously moving up to Easter Road, is it a noticeable difference? Like, do you feel it different? For me personally, I'm used to all the pitches now, so my body kind of just adapts now, so it's not really one that I'm too concerned about. I'm just, yeah, ready to go. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, same. Um, I'm used to different pitches as well, um, but with the bigger stadium, it does feel like a. It makes it feel like a bigger occasion, you know, like a bigger atmosphere. Yeah. So women's football in America is a lot more popular than it is here. Mm -hmm. um, what do you think that we need to do to get? I mean, six times and people is a lot of people to come to your next game, yeah. and that's great. But what do you think that we as a country? or as a city need to be doing to get more people to come along to women's football games? Um, I think our like staff does a pretty good job of it, of like trying to put us out there as much as possible. Um, a lot of things that I think don't happen with the women's game is that we're not put out there enough, so obviously if, you, if it's not put out there, people don't know about it, so they can't show up. So like having our billboards on the back of buses, having our billboard you know, in a popular walkway where people can see we have a big game coming up. I think things like that. Um, providing free tickets, talking to, um, you know, school children, letting them know what we have, especially to younger, like, female soccer players, mm -hmm. so that, you know, they we so that we can be, like, role models for them to look mm -hmm. up to, having having them, having us be there for them as well. Mm -hmm. yeah. but you, you, you know, no, I agree with that. So... Our staff does do a pretty good job at the media things and stuff like that, but us as a team, as a collective group, we've tried to do more, so going to school, seeing the children, and just making it known that it's not far to come watch us as well, and we do give out free tickets, so it's just trying to get everyone along. So when I was younger, um, there was no, there wouldn't have been football in schools, or there wouldn't have been like girls football places to go play. I mean, I used to play with my brother, and my dad like over over the park and stuff like that. Um, how different do you think that is now? Is it being is it is it taught in schools? Is it, it I mean obviously it's more um, apparent in like clubs and things like that. Is it is it very easy to go and join a, a a girls football team? I think it's so much bigger now. I think it's got a lot lot better um, since a while ago. Um, when I was at school personally, when I was in primary school, there wasn't a girls team going about things like that, but now I know that at most schools there is either a mixed boys and girls team or there's a girls team on its own, which is really good to see because girls just enjoy sport as much as as much as much boys, so it's good for them to have that opportunity and not kind of shy away from it just from being a girl. So, no, I think it's it's very big now and it just needs to keep going in the right direction. And Liana, what do you think about Edinburgh? I like it a lot. Yeah, it's a good city. Um, where I'm from, I don't think there's like too much to do there. Um, and here there's like a little too much to do. Yeah, so but do you want to tell people where you where you? Come oh, from? sorry, I'm from Connecticut. Um, it's a state on the east coast of the U.S. So mm -hmm. I live very close to New York and Boston. That's the places that most people know. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, in comparison to that, like it, there's a lot more things to do here. I can always find a coffee shop to go to, or mm -hmm. always find somewhere to walk to. So, so what are your ambitions? In general. In or? general. In life. In football. In, in life. Whatever. Um, my ambitions are just 
um, keep staying at this club, um, going on the right path, I think. Um, and my aspirations are to play for my country. So just keep working hard and hopefully try and get noticed. And yeah, mm -hmm. I'm loving it here. So just need to keep doing what I'm doing and hopefully something else. But getting into cup finals and stuff, that's what you want. What about you? What's your, what's your ambition? Um, to enjoy the game, try and um, improve as much as I can. Um, at some point, give back to the game as well. Um, and I'd like to make it to a World Cup and have a successful season here. And then I'll be able to say, I remember when. <laughs> How could you introduce singing to a female's game? Because it doesn't technically happen as a rule. Um, do you think that would make any difference to you? You know, so, I mean, sometimes I can imagine like having that entire crowd singing your name or, you know, for the men's game would make such a difference to the momentum. Um, do you think that that would be something that would make a difference to you guys if you knew that you're, not only did you have a support, but they were voicing their support positively? Yeah, I, I personally love that kind of stuff. Um, when I do play with the Trinidad national team, we have what's called a rhythm section. So there's people with drums, a bunch of different um, instruments, chanting, stuff like that. So to me, there's no reason why we shouldn't have. We need to sort this. Yeah. So Kenny's, so Kenny's my drummer in the band. So Kenny's the drummer. So we do actually have drums yeah. already. And then, you know, I, I have voices yes. and things like that. But um, it, I do think it would be, I think it'd be interesting. There's um, no reason why we shouldn't have it. I think it's just a matter of the people that are doing it, knowing the players. Cause you know, the chants yeah. come from knowing the players, yeah. knowing their names, yeah. knowing things about them. So I think once you can get that cohesiveness, there's no reason why. Mm. Have I'm one. actually kind of stuck with a song that's kind of been sang every Medal Bank game because we do get quite a lot of supporters come to watch our games and mine says, hey Mickey, you're so fine. So that's that kind of... amazing to hear. Yeah, you yeah can, so, that so that's why I already kind of get that feeling mm. um, when I'm out playing. I do hear them in the background sometimes and it does give you such a big mm. lift knowing that people are... No, first of all, know your name. That's nice to know and just supporting you. So, mm. nah, I think it would be something that we need to look into and get all the time because it does make a big difference, yeah. I think. Hey Mickey, you're so fine, you're so fine, you blow my mind. Hey Mickey, hey Mickey, hey. you need to play the drums if you don't know it. One, two, three, four. Hey Mickey, you're so fine, you're so fine, you blow my mind. Hey Mickey, hey Mickey. <laughs> yeah, that work? It was oh, a pleasure, it was a pleasure to meet you though. I'm cursed. Is that your good side? Yeah. Actually, no. You know, yeah, this is my good side. Sorry, just, just get me down this side. Kenny, this is my good That's <laughs> <laughs> yeah, good for guys. Hey, can you give me a rock star pose, which is anything a rock star would do? Hi, I'm Michaela Macaloni. I play centre mid for Hibernian Women, and you're listening to Chief Radio. Hi, my name's Liana Hines. I play fullback for Hibernian Women, and you're listening to Chief Radio. Good chief. Chief Brazil.